You ever wonder what the story is behind this song? or a lot of other songs, the award-winning podcast Song Exploder is now in its 10th year, and that's what they do. Yeah, on the show, musicians take apart their songs piece by piece and explain their process and how the song was made. Featured artists have included U2, Madonna, Fleetwood Mac, Metallica, and more. The podcast has been downloaded more than 70 million times and was a subject of a Netflix docuseries a few years ago. It's produced and edited by host Rishi Cash Hirway, who is an accomplished musician himself. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. I wonder, as a musician, and you may have you know more insight than people who are not musicians, what surprised you when you started talking to these artists about how they put their songs together? I think probably for me, because I made this show personally out of my own experience and wanting to learn more about other people's uh, insights and, and processes, I think the thing that surprised me the most was um, how many different ways there were to tackle a great song. Because I think for so long, I had imagined that there was just a right way to do it, and I'd never figured out what that right way was. Um, but it turned out, actually, there's a, as many different ways to make a song as there are huh. songs. Well, let's get to some of the people that you've talked to. Noah Khan, who is huge on TikTok, he sold out Femway Park like three times. Uh, to, for those who aren't familiar with him, talk about him and this song that you're going to analyze. Yeah, I interviewed Noah about his song, Stick Season. And uh, it was a great conversation, incredibly personal song and story. And his his journey is pretty amazing. Um, he really uh, kind of seems like an overnight sensation, but it, it's taken him a long time to get where he is. But um, Stick Season is named after this uh, Vermont um, terminology that, that he grew up with that's sort of in between um, winter and fall. Where oh, everything interesting. Is just... Uh, dead and, and the trees have no leaves and it's a miserable time um, according to him and that's what it's like. <laughs> it is yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know we listened to closing time and I think we can uh, probably cue it up again but I just imagine okay he was sitting in the bar at the end of the day and and the song came to him or is there more to it than that well that's one of the great things about doing the show there's so much more to that I think that's that's a, a great example of the podcast um, in terms of Revealing something about a song you think you know so well, um, having so much more going on under the under the hood. Um, Dan Wilson, who who's the singer and songwriter of uh, Semisonic, he wrote that song while his wife was pregnant, and oh. um, the entire song has a sort of double meaning between um, he referred to being sort of bounced out of the bar as being kind of similar to being bounced out of the womb because he doesn't <laughs> imagine anybody really wants to get born. Um, and so if you listen to the lyrics, there are all these things, your brothers and your sisters will be waiting for you, you know, all these uh, uh, ideas oh. that, that start to make sense when you realize, oh, there's this other uh, layer of meaning that he's braiding throughout it. It's actually an incredibly emotional story, and it's a lot of people's favorite episodes. I would imagine, you know, you could probably Google or Wikipedia a lot of these songs, and you get misinformation about what the song's about. Do you find that what you hear from the artist's mouth is completely different than what you've read online? Yeah, I think there are a lot of uh, sources where people, you know, try and take their best guess at, at what's happening. But the reason why I like doing the show is to hear directly what the intentions were, not just sort of what you get from the surface, but really like what were the emotional beats that were going on in their own life that led to, you know, this piano part or this melody. Um, there's so many secrets, I think, uh, both in terms of the ideas and in terms of the actual musical sounds mm. that you don't know when you're just a when you're just a lay person listening from the outside. Well, let me ask you something about the 80s and New Wave, because sometimes those were not like folk songish, you know, telling you a story. And one of them I think you talked about was Blue Monday by New Order, which I think is is rather I iconic. What is the story about putting that song together? It's pretty incredible. I mean, they actually <laughs> they wanted a song that they could end their shows with. Um, <laughs> they needed a, a song that they, they wanted to hit a button on a, one of their sequencer, their, one of their keyboards, and they could just let it play and they could walk off stage. <laughs> um, and so originally it was gonna be an instrumental and they started uh -huh. making this song, but then they, they realized there was something more to it and they started to try and 
write lyrics to it. And, um, and this was, you know, after the death of Ian Curtis from, from Joy Division and none of the folks in New Order, uh, which was the band they, they created afterwards, wanted to be the singer because Ian Curtis was such an incredible singer. And so they really had to kind of design by committee what the song was going to be like and, and who among them was going to have to sing it. So Rishi, I'm sure you've had tons of famous people on your show now. Who's the, who's the you know, golden goose that you still want to get? Oh, I think I'm, it's probably a long shot, but I'm, I'm still holding out for Radiohead coming out uh, onto the show one day. They, they were sort of one of my, my dream guests when I started the show 10 years ago. Oh. Hasn't happened yet. Uh. Well, are they so busy that they can't <laughs> do your popular podcast? <laughs> I think um, they've got they've got a lot of stuff going on. All right. Well, hold, well let's put it out there in the universe. Uh, the, the podcast is called Song Exploder, and you can find Rishi on his site and social media. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.